Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a triple wear test. I'm going to be wear testing the Ordinary Foundation in the shade 1 in S, as well as two different eyeshadow primers. One is the Darling Girl eye primer, and the other one is the new Tarte Lid Lock Primer. So I'm going to be using the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer, which is the primer that I believe goes with the Ordinary Serum Foundation that I own. This primer is thick and clear. It kind of reminds me of a lot of the um, hyaluronic acid boosters that I've tried where it's just like a thick kind of gel. I don't really notice any smell with it. So now that the primer has had a chance to set, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. Once again, this is 1NS. And in my opinion on its own, this is a little dark for me. So I'm gonna add a little bit of NYX Pro White Mixer. And with just a little bit of white, I feel like this is a perfect match for my skin tone. It also seems to blend in pretty seamlessly. What I look for in a foundation is something that has light, medium coverage, so it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. And so it will also basically um, cover up most of my redness from my rosacea. Before I go on to the next step, I'm going to zoom in so you can see just how much coverage this ended up giving me, because I feel like it looks actually very full coverage today on the primer. We are now uncomfortably close. I feel like it blends pretty much seamlessly with my skin. Oh, just in case you don't know, I don't use any filters. Like I don't use any blurring filters. I don't use anything like that with my camera. I'm using my Canon 80D camera. So it is a very high quality DSLR. I do have ring lights and side fill lights and a hair light on, but that's it. So this is what this looks like. Now, for me, I could never get this to set before I tried the primer, so I'm going to set it now before I put on the rest of my makeup. To set it, I'm gonna use the Milani Prep Set Glow Illuminating Powder. This stuff is amazing, I love it. And I'm just gonna put it on with my uh, Tarte brush, which, this is a huge brush, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. Okay, so I put on the rest of my makeup. For my blush, I used Tarte Parte, which was the Sephora birthday gift. I used a little bit of Nars Olympia to contour. I used Makeup Geek Celestial to highlight. I used Kat Von D OG Lolita Pencil with Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lolita Lipstick. Now I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Dewy Hydrating Setting Spray. All right, I'm going to zoom in so you can look at the makeup up close. We are uncomfortably close. Now I'm starting this really late in the day, so let's see what time it is. It's 4.42 p.m., so I will do another check-in in a couple of hours, and then I'm going to do another, I, I'm gonna do like my final check-in after like nine or 10 hours so you can see how it wears. and. Hopefully, oh, let me zoom in for the, the eyeshadow too so you can see that as well. This is the Darling Girl side. And this is the Tarte side. We will see how these wear. Okay, it's about 10.22 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for like five and a half hours, closer to six hours, but not quite six hours yet. It'll be like six hours at 10.40. So, I feel like overall it still looks pretty good. I'm gonna get uncomfortably close to the camera so you can check it out. Um, remember that I do have cerberic dermatitis like right here by the side of my nose and in my brows. So if you see a little bit of like clumping or you see a little bit of flakiness like right around there or cakiness, that's because of my dermatitis.
Otherwise, I feel like it looks pretty good. All I've done though is, you know, I work from home, I've taken the dog out, it's been raining so I didn't really do too much outside because I didn't want to get like soaked. Other than that, I've gone to dinner, um, done, some, done some stuff around the house, did the dishes, so just I'd say normal life stuff, nothing too strenuous, I didn't go to the gym today. All right, so it's 1.44 a.m. I've had this foundation on for nine hours. I'm exhausted and I'm about to go to bed. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. I feel like after nine hours, I still look like I have skin, like it's melded with my skin really well. I don't feel like it looks awful at all. I am going to get uncomfortably close so you can look at it and tell me what you think. I don't feel like it's really worn off my nose much, if at all. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling to see where it looks bad. So maybe when I look at this video, I'll be able to tell, but like right now what I'm seeing, I look pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. After I review all the video footage, I'm gonna do, film my final analysis of this foundation. But honestly, after nine hours of wearing it and feeling like it looks pretty similar to how it looked when I put it first put it on. I'm very happy. I'm not gonna lie, when I first tried this foundation, I hated it and I hated it because it just kept rubbing off on everything. Like it would never really set. So I decided rather than give up on it, I would try the Ordinary Primer with it to see if that made a difference and it made a huge difference. I also found that setting it with powder made a huge difference. So for me, at least I can't wear this foundation without setting it and using a primer, but I feel like when I do that, it looks really good. My blush and highlighter is still on after nine hours. Oh, we should check on that primer. So this, let me, let me zoom back in uncomfortably close again. So this is the Darling Girl Primer on my eye. And when I'm looking at it, basically it wore off in the crease of my eye. Basically where it folds over and there's a hood, that's where it wore off. So it looks pretty good otherwise. And really, I don't think it's noticeable when I'm looking straight on that it's missing unless I look down like this. Now for this eye, Let's see, this is the Tarte Eye. I feel like the Tarte Eye had a little bit more fading overall, the colors aren't as vibrant, and I feel like it had more of the wear. I don't know, I'm, honestly, I feel like both of these worked pretty well, aside from the just the glaring gap right there in the center, like this right here. But so far, really the only primer that seems to work on me where there's no gap right there has been Too Faced Shadow and Insurance. So I wanna go over some facts really fast about the Ordinary Serum Foundation. Yes, $6.70 for one ounce. It's the cheapest foundation I think I own. It's got a lightweight feel. It's supposed to have medium coverage with lots of pigment. It gives you a natural look with a semi-matte finish. It is available in 21 shades and it's vegan and gluten-free. And so I feel like with this foundation, basically it looked almost as good after nine hours at it, as it did when I first put it on, which I find impressive. I did not have it wear away from the center of my face, which is typically where a foundation will wear away from me on me, where that's where everything will always go away. Like this didn't wear away or it blended so seamlessly with my skin that I really couldn't see it. I did have minor cakiness around here, but this is because I have cerebric dermatitis and sometimes I have cakiness and sometimes I don't. So that's what was going on there. Honestly, I have to say that for, from going from, the, I really did like a complete 180 with this foundation because initially I hated it and I thought it was terrible because I couldn't get it to set. It would like, if I didn't use it with a primer, it would not set at, at all. So I hated it, but when I finally went ahead and used it with the Ordinary's Primer and I also set it with the Milani setting powder, I love it. It's probably my favorite foundation right now and that's saying something. I'm really blown away by the fact that it's only, you know, like $7, like $6.70. $6 this is an amazing foundation. Just, it, it blows me away. I am thoroughly impressed with this foundation. Um, it does have more coverage than I'm used to since I tend to go for light medium coverage and it really is sol solidly medium and you could probably get to full with no issue. So I, I do, I like the coverage. Um, the color 1NS isn't bad, it's just a little dark for my skin tone, 
Um, I'm actually wearing it right now. I didn't add any white, but for the test that I did yesterday, I did add white so that I would have like a closer to my skin tone match. I feel like with all the studio lights on, you just can't really see it. Maybe I'm wrong, but if you look, I don't really feel like you see like a sharp line between my foundation and my neck. 21 shades, it has a pretty good shade range. I really like the NS color. I feel like with the color 1N, it's way easier to see that it's too dark for my skin. This, this seems to be more forgiving, probably because it has like the silver metallic like sheen to it or whatever. Like it doesn't look like it's metallic on me, but it, it has more of a dewy finish. I literally don't know a better foundation that you could buy that's cruelty free for the price. This is great for my dry skin. My skin is less dry than it used to be because I stopped exfoliating the hell out of it. So I would say that my skin while still dry is closer to normal dry rather than extremely dry. So I feel like this is excellent for my dry skin. It probably would be great for normal skin. I don't think that it would work well for oily skin unless you um, are using like some sort of like mattifying primer and you're setting it. I just, I don't think it would happen. I'm just blown away by the fact that it didn't wear off from the center of my face, which is typically where foundation will wear away for me. And then, you know, the fact that you can get it for so cheap, blows my mind. I know that it's out of stock right now, but I know that, uh, that the company is going to be restocking it as fast as they can. I just basically think they couldn't make enough product to keep up with the demand, which is pretty amazing. So this is basically the foundation that broke the internet. <laughs> Even though I have to use it with a primer and I have to use it with a setting powder, I still feel like this is an amazing value for the price and I have no problems recommending this. I honestly blows me away. I feel like this is a great foundation. So anyway, what do you think of the new Ordinary Serum Foundation? How do you think it looked on me? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.